Hi, welcome to section 2, tips to make code more robust and error free. We will learn the recommended methods to avoid null pointer exceptions, using lat for protecting against null expressions, using filter not null for eliminating nulls from a collection, using try expressions for thread safe calls, and using singletons for thread safe code. In this video we'll demonstrate some recommended methods to avoid null pointer exceptions. We'll introduce the Alvis operator for handling null values to make code more concise. Using safe cast to avoid class cast exceptions. And using safe cast with the Alvis operator. Here we have code that checks the data parameter. If the data is not null we will return the data. But if the data is null, we will return this default number. This code can be simplified by replacing the if expression with the Alvis operator. So I will remove the if expression. And on the left hand side of the Alvis operator, I will return the non null value, which is data. Now we enter the Alvis operator. And if the value is null, we enter our default value. Now let's run this code, and as you can see the data value that is being passed is null, so the default value is returned via the Alvis operator. In this code we've got an interface marker that's applying a common type with the class run. Inside the main function we have the value total, and what we want to do here is cast that to the type of run. I will create a new value called runs, and this is where we will cast total to the type of run. And I do need to put parentheses around that just so I can access the runs member and use the dot notation to get runs. Let's display runs. And we are seeing a class cast exception because total cannot be cast to the type of run. So instead of getting a class cast exception, we just want to return the value null instead. To do that, we'll implement a safe cast instead of a cast. And to do that, we just put the question mark on the end of the cast. Now that the result's going to support a nullable value, we do need to make this a safe call. Now let's run the code. And instead of getting a class cast exception, we're now returning the value null instead. Often you're going to want to return a value instead of a null. And this is where we can combine the Alvis operator with the safe cast. Now we can add the Alvis operator and just return an actual value. In this case, if the cast does fail, we just want to return a value of zero for runs. Now run the code. And instead of null, if the cast does fail, we are actually returning a value that has meaning to us and the value in this case is zero for zero runs. And if we want to pass in a castable value, we can use an object expression. Set the object to the type of run, apply a value to the class constructor, and we will need to append curly braces to the end. Now run this, and as you can see, the value total can now successfully be cast to the type of run. We learnt how the Alvis operator makes code more concise and readable. How to replace class cast exceptions with null by using the safe cast. And how to combine the Alvis operator with safe cast to return a value. 